äh, ja, wieder zu öffnen und zwischendurch eine Platte machen, denn da tun wir auch ein paar europäische Länder abzuspielen. Wir waren in Australien, in Japan und sofort alle Zeit. Und natürlich ist es ein großer Zeit. Rammstein ist der Name der ersten Song, die die Band zusammen und die featured als der letzte Track auf ihrem Debütalbum. It's about an incident at a small German town of the same name, although this is spelt with only one M. There was a tragedy during a US Air Force flight show in 1988, when a plane crashed and 70 people were killed. The song's lyrics are a cold, concise description of the scene. Blood on the asphalt, a man in flames, mothers screaming, and each verse ends with the eerie contrast, Rammstein, the sun is shining. There is the emotional detachment of a newspaper report or a short story by William Burroughs. Between each stark, simple description, the name of the town is chanted over and over. Rammstein, a mass grave, Rammstein, no escape. The name of the town became a symbolic catchphrase loaded with significance and resistance to American imperialism and carelessness, as if to say, never again. However, while the eponymous song is about the tragedy, the band deny taking their name from the town or the event itself. Ramsteins in German means ramming stones, which are protective constructions placed by old gates, and it was these that were seen as symbolic of the powerful male energy generated by the band. When they started, they had all either broken up or were all in the process of breaking up with their wives or girlfriends. As musicians who had all been left by their women, they channeled their frustrations into a kind of ramming stone energy, which was overtly masculine, disciplined and linear. The idea of male energy was as central to the band as that of creating a uniquely European sound, and Rammstein as a name seemed symbolic of both. It was perfect. Their first single was Du Riecht So Gut, You Smell So Good, released in 1993 on Motor Music. A song of animal instinct and predatory urges, it describes the relentless pursuit of a female, whether as victim, lover or both. Insanity is only a narrow bridge, the banks are reason and desire. The sound was industrial techno swathed in layers of crashing guitars and stabbing keyboards that owed more than a little to the likes of Ministry, Nine Inch Nails and Front 242. Ghostly echoing voices and sound effects loitered in the background, behind a spoken verse, a chanted chorus and an innovative double-speed middle eight cum guitar solo. The single was enough of a success for Motor to release Rammstein's first album, Herzlied, Heartache, in 1995. Produced by Clawfinger's Jacob Hellner, it was a fusion of heavy metal guitars, industrial rhythms, Lindemann's harsh, unsettling lyrics, and Oliver Riedel's elastic Euro disco bass playing. At times, it recalled the work of Deutsche Amerikanische Freundschaft, meaning German American Friendship, or DAF, the early 80s German duo who provide the missing link between Giorgio Moroder style gay disco and the industrial electronic body music of the 1990s. Another comparison was with Leibach, the Slovenian art group who consciously adopted a tongue in cheek totalitarian image. They covered songs such as Queen's One Vision and the Rolling Stones' Sympathy for the Devil as over-the-top quasi-operatic marching songs. The comparisons with both groups were compounded by the Aryan camp of the cover art and by Till's guttural, stentorian delivery. The first track, Volt ihr das Bett in Flamen Sion, Would You See the Bed in Flames, opens with a menacing, repetitive keyboard riff and a gradually accelerating martial drumbeat. The keyboard line is echoed first on crashing sheet metal guitar, then on the other instruments as the crushing, percussive sound is built up layer by layer. Till spits and barks the lyrics, all rolled R's and harsh glottal intonation, emerging into a quavering operatic baritone on the chorus. It's a song about love taken to possibly masochistic extremes. Towards the end, the repeated chant of Rammstein is answered with sampled crowd roars. Der Meister, or The Master, is an apocalyptic prophecy of the coming of absolute truth, destroying everything with its purity. 
Lyrically, it recalls Leonard Cohen's The Future, while clipped thrash metal guitars stutter manically across the aerobic funk bass line. The chorus is lifted by a backing of synthesized choirs and a curiously fairground-like keyboard that disintegrates into what sounds like screeching car tires swerving across the autobahn. There is a definite Eurobeat pulse beating beneath the controlled aggression and mayhem. Vice's Fleisch, White Flesh, is a vicious stomper with an old-school metal guitar solo and a relentless pulsing dance beat. It's also the most lyrically unsettling song on the album, being a portrait of a killer rapist carrying out his sick fantasies on the body of a schoolgirl. My father was exactly like me, confesses the protagonist, suggesting that hate and violence breed the same. Your white flesh enlightens me, he says. Somehow he seeks redemption through committing the ultimate blasphemy, as though crucifying himself on the murdered body of his innocent victim. He fulfills his destiny, destroys himself and any chance of salvation and commits himself to hell. But at the exact same moment that his actions condemn him, he is also in some way purified and released. Another song about crucifixion is Asher zu Asher, or Ashes to Ashes, the narrator portraying himself as some kind of antichrist, nailed to the cross then returning after ten days dead to exact a terrible revenge. A crunching, ascending, descending guitar noise gives way to a skittering drumbeat on the verse, before returning on the chorus in a classic piece of quiet, loud dynamics. A ravey one-finger keyboard part provides the nervous sugar. Zeman, meaning semen, opens with gentle acoustic guitar picking and Till singing in a high, pure, romantic balladeer voice before the wall of noise comes barging in and a marching rhythm begins. The song presents love as the only respite from the endless loneliness of the existential sea of life, yet the track ends with the narrator once more forever cold and alone. Du Reached So Gut is followed by Das Alter Lied, which translates as The Old Sorrow, in which the futility of being born only to die drives the narrator to the verge of insanity, sex being the only brief respite. Opening with a muttered hello, hello, the song crashes into a ponderous, fairly traditional heavy metal guitar riff. Juddering verses lead to a chorus of massed wailing voices and an instrumental passage of distorted electronic noise and clanking. At the end, a screeching, detuned guitar solo merges with the crying of a newborn baby. On High Rata Mish, or Marry Me, the opening doomy narration over massed ghostly choirs and tolling church bells dissolves into the by now familiar fusion of techno rhythms, heavy guitar and icy synth. It tells of a man who mourns so desperately for his dead wife that he digs up her corpse to have her again, only for her body to disintegrate in his arms. He does what he can with the remainder though, and so that the night will never end for heads the rooster that greets the morning. An example of Rammstein's much misunderstood black humour, this track features another old-school guitar solo and ends with the old man's cry of frustration as it melts back into the same tolling bells it emerged from, for all the world like a short story by Edgar Allan Poe. The title track is a stuttering chant over howling synths and grinding guitars, though with a surprisingly melodic keyboard break. Save each other from heartache, for the time that you are together is short, but even if you are united for many years, one day they will seem like minutes to you. The song ends with a pun on the German word for being alone in a crowd, changing it to a pair so the meaning is twisted to save each other from being alone in pairs. Leichsight, or spawning time, is the story of a fish that apparently makes love to its mother, its sister and its dog before being abandoned by all three. The symbolism of the fish for a penis is none too subtle. He spits dead milk in your face. You don't dare to touch him. And the tale could be a metaphor for adolescent sexual shame and guilt, with the protagonist becoming completely sexually repressed as a result of his taboo thoughts and fantasies. The fish needs his loneliness. The song builds into an anthemic air-punching climax, after which the final track, Rammstein, seems curiously understated. Ominous goblin footfalls and helicopter whirring segue into a sinister roaring rushing of air like a jet engine and a loping vengeful guitar riff, over which the lyrics are coldly intoned. 
It's a chilling end to an auspicious debut album, and one that showcases more ideas than many bands have in a lifetime. Rammstein were about to become bigger than they could have dreamed.